It is insulting to hear the repeated suggestions from some on the city council and even our mayor about trying to open a low barrier tent camp as a solution to the problem of campers in our city parks. This is particularly so given that we all live within 30 minutes of a city that already has one. We all go to shop there and drive past what used to sensibly be called the Greenway, but now should be called a Brownway due to the annual fires caused by the homeless. Their parks, bike paths, underpasses, and freeway exits are filled with vagrants and the trash that they leave behind. And we all see it. All of this is still increasing while at least one sizable low barrier tent camp is provided. There is no evidence that having a tent camp will reduce the number of people camping in our city parks. But we all see evidence to the contrary every time we travel to cities that have them, such as Medford, just 30 minutes south of us here. But surely making room for some of them will help the situation you might protest. Well, to quote the city attorney from the May 7th edition of the Daily Courier, when asked about the mission, even if it counted, there aren't enough beds to accommodate people, meaning that the number is the deciding factor. If you can't force people into the vacant beds at the mission, you certainly won't be able to force people into your city-sponsored tent camp, so long as it accommodates less than 600 people, potentially twice that, according to the attorney in the, in the uh, account of the courier. The same ties that bind the good measurable efforts of the Gospel Rescue Mission from being counted will tie up the, the efforts of a low barrier shelter tent camp as well. This judge has settled, saddled your city with an impossible numbers game and it would be irresponsible to give up one more piece of public land in order to not solve or even reduce the problem. Low barrier equals low safety. When you hear low barrier, you must think synonymously low safety. Say it with me, low barrier equals low safety. Those things that they call barriers are things like enforcing sobriety, having somebody check through a person's belongings for contraband, firm codes of conduct, making court appointments, healing up for 30 days prior to looking for work, and yes, being introduced to Christian values such as, you shall not commit murder. Just two weeks ago, a young man who was new to the mission began to behave in a way that caused us to suspect drug use, and he confessed upon inspection that he had broken his agreement to remain sober during his stay. He therefore checked out and went to hang out at our city parks where there are low barriers. After three days of low barrier living, he shot and killed a man in Riverside Park while under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Low barriers equal low safety. There is no evidence that low barrier shelters are effective at measurably reducing the homeless population in a city anywhere. Even the folks from All Care spoke before the city council this year and made the case that low barrier tent shelters are both ineffective and undesirable despite the fact that they were offering to operate one just one year ago. Some of the city council were noticeably shocked by the findings of their own research. Two years ago, a man named Chad McComas, you might know him formerly from Rogue Retreat, made a similar point before the council when he said that low, a low barrier tent village will not visibly reduce camping in your parks, in your greenways, on your freeway exits. And when asked by our, by our city manager why he would say that, he replied, because I run the one in Medford and it hasn't done it there. If you want to solve this problem, I have a couple of suggestions, take them for what they're worth. First, privatize the parks. 
This will make the ruling of the Ninth Circuit Court meaningless because it ruled on how a city can regulate public space. Once privatized, the parks leave the jurisdiction of the city and the police can use the trespassing laws, something that Oregonians evidently still think of as a crime, to create barriers. Second, uh, since we can't create a city ordinance prohibiting drug possession and distribution, maybe we should create ones that simply tax and regulate the distribution of camping gear. Penalize those who give out camping gear two grand per item, let's say, and use the taxes and penalties to fund the cleanup of the parks. Barriers equal safety. That's why we all have locking front doors and fenced yards and locks on your storage units. Low barrier equals low safety and should never be suggested as a means to help people struggling with addiction and mental health problems. Christian values aren't barriers that people should be okay with avoiding. They are the values that have guided the Western world to its fruitfulness for the last millennia and are the kind of values that you hope everyone in your neighborhood shares. There's another message from the Gospel Rescue Mission and my rant for the day.